Hi there, my lovelies. So I'm back today with a uh, Brazilian recipe. And if you hear a noise on, on, on the background, it's my kitty, both of them, they're eating. So you hear that? Oh, well. So uh, we're going to make a fricasse, which is like this uh, creamy chicken, but we are not, of course, going to use chicken. We're going to use the chicken that we made uh, a few months ago, I think a couple months ago. I will leave the recipe on the card here, as well as on the description box below and on my website, the printable recipe, so check that out. And um, it is a very uh, proper Brazilian food when you're having somebody over. It's a very quick meal to put together, super easy, Ingre ingredients are super um, common and affordable, so nothing out of this world that you're gonna have to climb the mountain in this uh, winter day to pick up that unique flower kind of thing. <laughs> so super, super easy. And uh, we start by blending a can of corn or frozen corn or fresh corn, so it's up to you, with any kind of vegan cream of your preference. It can be uh, cashew, almond, um, uh, in any kind. I mean, just be careful, like I always say, with the coconut milk because it has this sweet aftertaste and uh, it, in, it will increase the sweetness in the food every time you use coconut, coconut milk. And remember, we already have the corn, which is pretty sweet, so try to skip that. And now you're going to use the cream, che cream cheese that we made a few uh, weeks ago, a few months ago perhaps. Also, the recipe in the card there or if you don't want to make it, just any kind of a vegan cream cheese of your choice, store-bought, whatever, the ones that you use to uh, use in your house. A little bit of nutritional yeast, optional, but highly recommended, and you blend it. And you'll end up with a um, creamy, a cream, um, a cream cream. <laughs> Yeah, that, well, that's what it is. And uh, we'll reserve it for later. So, right. Now we're going to put together very simple, like I said, ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry, except from the... Stop it. It always does that. It's the metal expanding. So, uh, unless, like I was saying before, you have the chicken, the unchicken chicken that we made if you have it frozen. Uh, if you don't have it, you can use mushrooms, you can use anything, heart of palm, that is very good for this recipe, so uh, you choose. To the pot, a little bit of oil, the oil of your preference, so the pot is hot. You let it cook a little bit for about, I don't know, uh, seven to 10 minutes in the low heat. Uh, we want it to cook and we want it to brown just a little bit. I'm not going to use garlic. I like to use garlic powder that I make myself. I blend it, make a paste, and then I l let it um, dry in the sun because the Spanish sun can be brutal. So I use the summer for that. And, uh, but the reason why you ask me a lot, so I'm going to tell you, it's because here where I live, I don't know why, uh, the garlic is super potent. It's like a punch, you know, and I remove the inner uh, green part, but it doesn't help so much. So I decided to uh, not eliminate garlic because it's important for your brain and for your cells, and it's a very good thermogenic, but um, add it in another shape and form, which is dehydrated in powder. So I tend to skip to the um, garlic powder. Right. So you can add a little bit of water if you think it needs it, I will. Right, it's cooked enough. And now we're going to add the spices. Salt, pepper, oregano, a little bit of nutritional yeast, again optional. Garlic powder, stir a little bit. Now we add our unchicken, the champignons, if you want to add um, fresh mushrooms, you can. The, I, I haven't mentioned, but it's important that the chicken, our uh, chickpea chicken, that it's uh, shredded, okay? What's up, puppy? Hi, doggy. It's really hot here today. 
We are in the middle of, middle of winter and it's 30 degrees Celsius. I have no idea how much it is in Fahrenheit, but I know it's a lot. And we are all melting, including the little poor thing there. So what was I saying? I was talking about some, oh, uh, the chicken in the original recipe, it's supposed to be shredded in very thin, uh, um, how do you call it, ribbons? But I don't, didn't want to do it here. I want it to be shredded, but um, medium size, like you saw before when I showed you. Now we are going to add our cream. And to me, this is the best part because this cream is so delicious and it's so unexpected. I mean, to serve it to people, they're like, oh my God, what's that? That tastes so good. And uh, it's really nice, I love it. Now, just for the color, okay? If you think it needs a little bit more of a tomato puree so it gets a little bit more pinkish, you can do it, I'll do it. Now you taste for salt. Phenomenal. And now you let it cook a little bit, a little bit of corn, like a five, three minutes in a medium low heat. And um, we're going to plate it with some fried potato sticks. If you can't find the fried potato sticks, you can, um, those here, you can use uh, chips, then you just crush it. But that's so easy to make, I mean, you just, um, Put it in a, pass it on a mandolin and then make sticks and then fry it like super easy. Now I'm going to plate it. It's done, all done. Time flies, I know that's for sure. Yeah. have it. You like my bear paws? So super cute, isn't it? So look at this. Now seriously, isn't this so amazing? I mean, seriously, let me just fix this because it, it looks like a little bit sad. <laughs> it's not supposed to look sad, it's supposed to look super happy. I mean, there's nothing that here, right? Only happiness. And um, ta-da! <laughs> happy days and that's your and I, mm, you know that I'm gonna have to try it a little bit of oh mmm it's good it's a um, um, homemade it's comforting it's um, yet a little bit sophisticated you know what I mean at least the name is <laughs> so I know that chicken fricassee in France it's something totally different First of all, it's made with uh, chicken, duh, but this is not, but you know what I mean. It's made with thighs and stuff, so nothing to do with this. And I'm super proud and super happy because you guys keep asking me all the time to make uh, Brazilian food and uh, what we eat in Brazil. And um, th there's something about the Brazilian food that I like that we tend to be very creative with what we have because back in the day in Brazil, we, ha we had uh, only uh, super frugal ingredients. We didn't have access to, for example, broccoli. It arrived in Brazil. I mean, it was a, a common kitchen staple, like you could buy it any supermarket uh, at late 80s. Can you imagine that? So uh, I'm sure that it was available, but it was super like expensive and like fancy. And so we had to uh, recreate what we already have in hand. And this is one of them. And uh, this is it. I'm babbling away because I'm so happy. And I uh, hope you have liked it. And uh, again, recipe on the description box below. And um, check on my website. Important because there I have some uh, amazing... Uh, all my uh, recipes are there, uh, printable recipes. And i see you next time. Follow me on my social media if you ever make it 
tag me. I love when you do that. And I see you next time. Until then, bye.